whenever you want to get charged you must go into meditation in your worldly activity in your physical activity in your mental activity in your intellectual activity you have to expend lot of energy to get the work done when you are doing work the energy is getting discharged then gradually you will come at a low point of energy then that is the time for you to recharge yourself through closing your eyes and observing your breathing normal natural easy soft simple tender peaceful tranquil breathing like you charge your cell phone your battery the whole system is there in the wall current then the socket is there then you plug in then the energy gets into your system in the cell phone similarly there is a whole cosmic web of energy is there and this breath is the socket the mind has to plug in when the mind gets plugged into the socket of the breath then it is connected to the whole energy grid of the whole cosmos and you get energy all the energy whenever you want so from to time time to time as you charge your cell phone from time to time you charge your soul by becoming one with the breath the science of meditation says when you are with the breath the mind becomes empty the mind is a barrier between outside energy and body's energy so when the mind becomes empty that outside energy flows into the body no doctor no medicine nothing is required we are all gods so right from headache to cancer all things would vanish once you are sitting comfortably and closing your eyes and and observing your breathing no mantras whatsoever ओम भूर्भव सवितुर्वरेण्यं भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदयात् नो मंत्रास ला इलाही इल्लल्लाह मुहम्मदुर रसूलुल्लाह नो वॉइस फ्रॉम द माउथ नो इमेजेस इन द माइंड दिस इज द पिरामिड द नोस इज द पिरामिड गो इनटू द पिरामिड एंड द ब्रेथ इज द लिंक बिटवीन this energy and the vast energy so when you are with the breath the vast energy they flow into the body's vessel and all problems vanish a to z all questions are answered a to z you just need to close your eyes in your own home and keep observing the breathing the mind wanders but bring it back to the breath again the mind wanders but bring it back to the breath after some time of this ding dong battle then you stay with the breath the science of meditation is the mother of all other sciences the science of the spirit is the source of all other sciences of matter everything is psychosomaticity that is what we learn in spiritual science field there are four varieties matter energy thought and consciousness
E is equal to mc square, matter is energy, we all know that. Now, energy is produced whenever your thought, energy is directed wherever your thought. Who directs energy? Where does the energy flow? Wherever you want it to flow, it will flow there. The thought guides the energy. And if you want to maximize the energy, you must remove the thought and go into the consciousness. That's how you maximize your energy and using your thoughts, using your intents, intentions, you direct the flow of energy wherever you want. We want a big pyramid, the pyramid will come. Our thought is directed to the whole humanity should become vegetarian, it will become vegetarian. That's where we are channeling our energies to, by our intent. Our thoughts give shape and direction to our energies. When you go beyond the thought into the pure consciousness, then you maximize your energies. So these are the four fundamental verities, matter, energy, thought and consciousness. We are all pure consciousness. We are all individual consciousnesses plus we are all one mega group consciousness. When you understand that you are not this physical body, you are a pure consciousness that is called as self-realization. When you understand that the same self that is here, that is everywhere, that is a mega self, then that is God-realization. You are that, not this. When Moses went up to the hill, a voice came from the fire. Moses asked, who are you? What are you? Then the voice said, I am that I am. We are not this I am, we are that I am. Although we are the vast mega self, we also exist simultaneously in a paradoxical way, as an individual consciousness. And while in the physical body we have a mind, which is not an illusion, which is an instrument for us to use, manage things while we are in the physical body. That portion of soul which is extended into the body controls the body is called as the mind. We are the body from that level to we are the self, soul, atma, from until we are everything. This is the transition. Once you reach that stage, your personal growth is over. Then you help others. How do you help others? You help others not by healing but by teaching. When you are healing others, you are doing their homework. When you are doing others' homework, then they become dependent upon you. You must make them independent. You should yourself become independent. You must make others independent. You got independence through your meditation and you have to teach meditation to others so that they become independent of you or anybody. Nobody should do the homework of anybody else. We should teach them, educate them, but the homework has to be done by every soul. Their karma, they have to remove it. Very rare emergency cases, a little help can be given as an exception, but not as a rule. 
So, in the pyramid spiritual society's movement, we don't heal anybody. Nor we think about healing ourselves. No. If I got cancer, I have to have cancer. There's a reason for that cancer. If I have to have headache, I will have headache. There's a reason for that headache. If I have to die now, I will die now. There is a reason for the departure. So in meditation, we are in meditation, that's all. What happens, happens. What doesn't happen, doesn't happen. What happens is perfectly all right, and what doesn't happen is perfectly all right. We don't make any extra efforts, extra intentions to change any reality. Every reality is reality. It's a magnificent reality, precisely designed for you to give some particular pay packet. If you are poor, your poverty teaches you many things. If you are rich, your riches give you many opportunities. If healing happens naturally when you are in meditation, then nature wants you to heal. It will heal. I don't heal others. Others do not heal me. I don't heal myself. Nature, if it wants, it will heal. If it doesn't see any purpose in healing, many lessons are to be learned at. We will have to learn the lessons. We are here to learn the lessons through all experiences. Which experience is bad, negative, not useful? Which experience is bad? And every experience just goes away, it doesn't stay there. It's a passing show. You don't want one experience, you want another experience, then you lose. The Number of experience that you can have in a given lifetime. We should maximize our experiences. See them pass. See them pass. Don't resist any experience. And stay put in meditation. Maximize your energies. And when not in meditation, that we have to utilize our energies by using our thought for the best purpose of the whole being kind. Every reality is welcome. We celebrate birth, we celebrate death, we celebrate not coming here. We won't come onto the earth if we don't want to come here. There is nothing wrong in not choosing to come here. Everything is right everywhere. But we have chosen to come here. To be our best at any given time. When we are at our best, best flows from us all around. When, our, when we are at our worst, the worst flows. So it is our duty to see that we are always at our best through meditation. Meditation gives everything to every person. When you get everything, then you are in celebration. Celebration, celebration, celebration. Meditation, meditation, meditation. Celebration, celebration, celebration. celebration.